The question is from the following trial balance prefer trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st March 2016 and balance it as at that date okay fine hence in the books of dash dash no name is given of the trader prepare trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st March 2016 draw the trading and profit and loss account format and uh, start from the credit side there is no major adjustment in this question is there hence we have to start from the credit side that by sales rupees 4 lakhs 79760 less returns that is rupees 1800 in the final column have rupees 4 lakhs 77960 rupees by closing stock rupees 15270 being an adjustment it will be shown under the current assets in the asset side of the balance sheet in the debit side we will have opening stock rupees 8400 and we have purchases rupees 3 lakh less purchases return that is 12200 is given in the credit column of the trial balance and the final column we will be writing rupees 2 87800 and then your factory expenses the oges is rupees 2800 and then to carries in words that is rupees 860 carries and purchases then total the credit side that is 4 lakh 93230 write it in the debit side and after deducting all expenses we can find out to gross profit carried down the gap the difference 1 lakh 93340 take it to the credit side of profit and loss account and write down the expenses office expenses and office incomes that is to carries outwards or free home delivery expenses or carries and sales that is rupees 300 and to telephone charges rupees 3290 to salaries rupees 12000 and add outstanding salaries 12000 as per our adjustment number 3 it will be added to salaries and will shown under the current liabilities head in the liabilities side of the balance sheet the totaling will be rupees 24000 in the final column to insurance and taxes rupees 31200 to printing and stationery the amount being uh, stationery expenses the amount being rupees 1350 and there is a huge outstanding amount in the second adjustment printing and stationery expenses due rupees 58650 add to this add outstanding that is rupees 58650 and in the final column that is rupees 60000 the next one will be to depreciation on plant and machinery Uh, we have to calculate ten percent on plant and machinery. That is rupees twelve thousand three hundred ten percent of plant and machinery value, and motor vehicle is also fixed asset and ten percent of that. That is rupees seventeen thousand six hundred. It is written on all fixed assets. There are many fixed assets, but out of these, these two are the depreciable asset, plant and machinery, and motor vehicles. and they have told excluding building building is also depreciable but they have told no depreciation will be charged in the question hence we have not charged depreciation the totaling is for depreciation is rupees 29900 and total the credit side that is rupees 1 lakh 93340 write it down in the debit column and find out the gap the difference to net profit carried down That is rupees forty four thousand six hundred fifty rupees, and then our balance sheet. In the balance sheet, as at thirty first March two thousand sixteen, we'll having this assets. This two zero one is not to be written. As we have to start from the asset side after drawing the format. First one is our current asset. Under this, we'll have cash in hand rupees three thousand. Then closing stock rupees fifteen thousand two hundred seventy rupees. Then sundry debtors rupees eighty thousand no provision for bad debt is there. And then fixed assets plant and machinery rupees one lakh twenty three thousand less depreciation ten percent that is rupees two thousand three hundred 
in the final column we will have rupees 1,10,700 the next one is motor vehicles that is rupees 1,76,000 less depreciation 10% that is 17,600 and in the final column we will have rupees 1,58,400 then building is there that is rupees 3,80,000 and the totaling is rupees 7,47,370 and in the liabilities column we will have current liabilities that is creditors rupees 11,870 outstanding salary that is rupees 12,000 outstanding printing and uh, expenses that is rupees 58,650 then long term liabilities and capital our bank loan is rupees 33,700 rupees then capital is rupees 5,90,000 out of this we have to deduct less drawings rupees 3500 add net profit that is rupees 44650 in the final column we will have rupees 6,31,150 and the totaling will be 7,47,370 rupees and this is the final answer